Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial where I will be showing you how to build a fishing farm for Minecraft 1.13. This is an updated design that is compatible with 1.13 and there is new loot available as well. The Nautilla shell is available as well as all of these valuable things that we're used to getting from fishing farms. Now you've probably seen these before in people's let's plays on multiplayer servers, they have become very popular. If you haven't seen them before, this basically automates fishing to the point where you stand here, you hold down right click and the whole fishing process is automated. The fish and loot that you get from fishing will be collected in the hopper down there and it will go into a storage system. So if you're not familiar with the things that you can get from doing automatic fishing, you'll get a lot of XP first of all, which you can then use to combine some of these fishing rods that you get from fishing itself, which will allow you to make this ultimate fishing rod right here to get the most out of your fishing farm. You'll also get lots of enchanted bows, which are really good. You will get um, the enchanted books as well. You've got the possibility of getting mending from here as well. And so it's a pretty vital farm to have if you're playing in a new world. Now using this thing is really straightforward with this design. All you got to do is stand down here, aim at the area of this iron trapdoor that has the item frame directly behind it. And then you've just got to hold down right click. And that's it. You're now automatically farming. You just keep this in the exact same position and eventually it will catch something and because you're holding down right click it will recast the rod and the items that you caught will go into the hopper down below. And there we go, we just caught something right after I stopped talking. Perfect example. So now it's time to start the tutorial and build this fishing farm. In front of me you can see a finished one that has been built above ground and personally I think it looks a lot nicer if you just dig it into the ground like I did this one over here. It also means that you don't need any building blocks as all of the building blocks that you see right here that are essential to the design of it will already be in place if you just dig it into the ground. So what you see on my hotbar is what you need to get started here. These are the exact amount of materials that you need. You won't even need any building blocks if you're going to dig it into the ground. And uh, yeah, once you've gathered all of those, we'll be ready to start. And we're going to start by simply digging down four blocks. One, two, three, four. We're going to do the same thing again here. And then over here, we're going to go down by three blocks. So this is what your trench should look like. We will start off by placing the iron door there on top of that block. Then we'll go into this extra space at the bottom, place two chests. We're going to put a hopper on top of it. And then we will put our tripwire hooks either side here. Below this one, we need a ladder. And then in front of that above the hopper, we're going to put a water bucket. And then over here, we're going to put string. And then we've got one last thing to do, which is to put the item frame over here. And then you need to put an item, any old item, it doesn't matter, inside of that item frame. And that is actually the complete farm right there. As you can see, it's incredibly simple to build and it uses hardly any resources. There are just a couple more things to mention now that are quite important. Um, you're obviously going to be using this in Survival Minecraft. Getting in and out of the farm is nice and easy thanks to this ladder over here. An important thing about using the farm is that you need to be standing on top of the chest. You need to be all the way back over into this corner and you need to aim where the item frame is behind the door all the way over as far on this right hand side as you can. And when you aim all the way over there in that sweet spot, it'll catch very frequently and uh, you'll have a very efficient farm. Let's go into creative mode. I'm going to hop down here. One of the other things you want to do is expand your storage as this chest will fill up very quickly. So somewhere below it, add some hoppers pointing into other chests like this and that will allow them to fill up. So two more things. Above your water, you must make sure this farm has access to daylight. That is important because without it, the farm will run slower. So you can have solid blocks above the water there, but it is better to make sure it has access to the sky by putting translucent blocks like glass. Let's say if you built this deep underground. The last thing to mention is if you've used this farm before, you may be aware that there were some tricks that allowed you to permanently hold down right click and alt and tab out of Minecraft and do some other stuff. Unfortunately, that's been patched in 1.13 and I don't have a solution at this point in time, which means you'll have to resort to something like putting a weight down on your mouse so that you permanently hold down right click and then you can leave the computer alone and continue farming. 
And so my friends, that concludes the tutorial for this fishing farm. If you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. As always, thanks for the support. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, well, subscribe for more useful tutorials and also Let's Plays and other stuff as well. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.